All right, hello, and welcome to Act Closet Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? All right, we're going to do a weapon shot today with Diamond Art Club, So Many Books, So Little Time by Randall Spangler. All right. We're about, yeah, where this draggling's tail is, end of the eighth row here, around here. Okay, square drill, 22 inches by 43 inches, 53 colors, or 56 centimeters by 109 centimeters, uh, including uh, two ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis, and they're an iridescent coated type of drill that sparkles a little brighter than that of regular drills. Anything under color code or DMC code 150 is considered an AB from Diamond Air Club. All right, how's it going? Hopefully you're having tons of fun. Hopefully your crafting and other endeavors are going well. All right, had to get some caffeine into me. Okay. All right, we're working on the 310. So, Draggling's Tail. Continuing the stack of books here. These so are like the top three books. Yep. So. Okay, 310, 310. Oh, yeah. Working up here. Working up the tail. Yep, so just ran a couple errands, got stuff for Father's Day. It's coming up on Sunday. Yeah, uh, a couple things for my dad. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm at work for Father's Day, but... Yeah. It's all good. I can give him his stuff in the morning and then go to work. So we got window frame too, but I'll just trace the draggling's tail for now with the 310. Yeah. I'll do the outline of the books too, I guess. Wherever there is 310 in this section. Right. We'll get the 310 over with. <laughs> Cat was rather playful this afternoon. <laughs> Have little plastic springs that he likes uh, chasing around. Yeah, so kick that for a couple of minutes. Yeah, he was content. <laughs> he had the zoomies. <laughs> do over here and we can do the window stuff yeah I think it's Wednesday today yeah <laughs> I don't know what day it is anymore yeah. 
Yeah, it's a little warm out. Uh, not sure if there's humidity in the air, but yeah, it's like low 20s in Celsius anyway, uh, up here in Canada. <laughs> I think next week it's supposed to get even hotter, feel like 40 degrees Celsius with the hum humidex. So, oof. that's going to be scary. Yeah, might even get severe weather this summer because of the heat. Saying it's because of global warming, but... <coughs> oh, excuse me. Uh, well, Environment Canada is saying it. So... Uh, I don't know. It, whatever happens, happens, so... There we go. I was just having caffeine withdrawal. That's probably what was going on with that headache. There. Yeah. If I don't have coffee in the morning, uh, I start getting a headache. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Solve that problem. I'm drinking some now. We're good. Oh, yeah. I think that 310 goes up to here for this section. Is the season to stay hydrated so this heat yeah can only handle so much heat uh, I start feeling like garbage so <laughs> Even if uh, you don't feel hot, it's still smart to stay hydrated in the warm condition. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's as high as I can go with the 310 there. Okay, let's get a bit more of the draglings tail here. Fill in. Oh, excuse me. Okay. I haven't been on Diamond Hour Club's website recently. <laughs> I've been uh, doing other financial stuff. I haven't even checked the emails to see what the new releases are. It's just like, yeah, uh, yeah, don't really need any uh, canvases. <laughs> Still diamond panning. Yeah. It's just, yeah, work.
my mom's been using the studio a bit more regularly, so it's not as easy to get out here, yeah, to record, but yeah, it's all good. I have studio time now, so it's going to use it. <laughs> get a couple of these in anyway. Okay, yeah, about three tons coming along. We're good. Uh, at least going to do a good chunk of the drag link's tail here uh, in this section, so. <laughs> Or basically do the draggling still. No, oh, there's a bit more body or a bit more tail up here, like further up, like uh, the ninth row. But oh, we get there. We're near the top, so okay. <laughs> to see the second draggling, I'll just go back down and fill in this uh, window frame now. Alright. Window pane frame. Nice little miniature pathway here. Adhesive's a little slippery around here. The drills are kind of shifting. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, it's still sticky, but yeah, it's the odd time where the adhesive, the drills just kind of really swivel around for some reason. Can tell you. Just a hint of caffeine withdrawal. Yeah, headache's gone. <laughs> yep, that's my addiction. Uh, caffeine. Yep. I like my coffee. And if my body doesn't... If I don't have any coffee, yeah. Start getting headaches. Mm. 
Yeah. Uh, I don't smoke or drink or anything, so yeah, caffeine. Uh, probably just as bad <laughs> to an extent. Just like the amount of coffee I drink, so. I uh, very seldomly have pop anymore, so. I'm not drinking or consuming as much sugar as I used to a few years ago. So it's an improvement. Body really doesn't need sugar, but it's just so prominent in a lot of products and foods that, yeah, trying to get away from it might be a little tricky. I guess refined sugar, I should say. There are natural sugars and fruits and stuff. But. Those I highly doubt are as detrimental to your health as a uh, refined sugars, <laughs> like granulated sugar, that kind of thing. want to make sure that I don't oh, yeah I think it's somewhere around here okay there we go yeah still trying to make sure I don't diamond paint beyond the section I've gone <laughs> a couple drills over <laughs> a previous section yeah it's not the end of the world I depth Perception isn't fantastic by any means. Yeah, I'm just a basic coffee guy like I don't I do the odd mocha drink the odd mocha but basically like a double double coffee two cream two sugar yeah <laughs> basically what I drink for coffee and it's like medium roast usually yeah. well or breakfast blend whatever we have around here it's not overly strong coffee so yeah. yeah just keep it simple I don't do the fancy mocha chinos or frappuccinos I just want coffee <laughs> strong coffee <laughs> I need whipping cream or foam or whatever goes into those fancy coffees. I think it's an espresso. Espresso? Espresso? <laughs> yeah, that's a jolt of caffeine, but it's just like, it seems like a mouthful of coffee. I, I could be wrong. <laughs> I just don't drink those all the time, or at all. Ugh. Could be more than a mouthful of coffee, but it's certainly a smaller portion than that of a regular cup of coffee. There we go. Because it's... The grounds are more concentrated. Is that... Espresso? Yeah. Sounds like it. Sounds correct, but... Yeah. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. <laughs> just not my type of drink it's probably something everybody has somebody has every day kind of just like me having my cup of coffee so yeah probably like the same kind of feeling about it <laughs> this is what I like drinking <laughs> I don't deride from anything else I 
Oh, I drink the McCafe, McDonald's coffee all the time. Because I work there. I get it for free during my shifts. Yeah. I just drink a cup. Maybe two. If I'm there for five hours or more. I can work a maximum of eight hours at uh, my per time, per shift, so. There was a extended excessive hours form that I signed for the employee manual, but yeah, I, if I'm part time, yeah, I just usually get up to five hours a shift. I think I've worked like six hours once. Yeah. I I hardly notice. I just go where work where I'm supposed to be on a certain day. <laughs> it's just a blur. I just look at the calendar. It's on the calendar. Okay, I'm at my full-time job today, for example. It's like, let's go there for 12 hours. Uh, end of the day, bye. <laughs> Part-time, yeah. It's like, I don't work till like 7 o'clock tomorrow night. Till like 11. Yeah, 7 to 11. Yeah, it was originally midnight, but yeah, I tweaked that because I work the next day for 12 hours. Yeah, you get hours emailed to you, like, for my part-time. They schedule a week ahead. And I just kind of looked at the midnight and I was like, I have to work the next day. <laughs> I have to work in a few hours after that. And I was like, Ugh. <laughs> I just call this back an hour. Yeah, sure. Yeah, just have to ask. It's like, Sorry, I can't technically close. Way too late. Just basically go home and go to bed anyway, but... Oh, gosh, midnight? <laughs> I'm a night owl as it is, so, like... <sighs> Just trying to sleep sometimes like I do eventually doze off like it's not like I'm straight awake all night and I don't have coffee after eight o'clock at night so yeah it's not like I drink coffee like all day <laughs> no I, I know to stop caffeine intake like in the later hours of the night but yeah oh yeah just have a cup of coffee before you go to bed what could possibly go wrong <laughs> it's like uh... yeah there are days where I've had too many cups of coffee I'm sure everybody's done it yeah, get a little jittery. Yeah. <laughs> uh, very rare. Uh, just two, maybe three cups of coffee on my off days. Yeah, but I spread it out, drink water in between. Yeah, it's not like uh, I just drink one right after the other. Yeah, have days where, yeah, I just wait an hour, an hour, and then just brewed another cup of coffee. But yeah, I spread it out on purpose. So as long as I just have that one cup of coffee, good to go. Okay, capital Y. It'll be a blue.
Oh, Elias got the three time figured out, so that's good, that's good. Okay, seven ninety seven. Uh, where are you? Sorry, bumping the drafting table here. Okay, yeah, it's just basically a by the window frame here. That's why. Uh, part of the night sky. Yeah. So there's uh, trees or foliage here. You can see through the window. So, this was the next color in order from left to right from the top of the section. So. How I uh, figure out which drill to place next. So, yeah, OCD. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have OCD tendencies for sure. Yeah. No doubt about that. Yep. Word search. I. Do the list in order alphabetically from left to right. Uh, if it's missing lists though, like where you find the words on the diagram still, we have to write the words into the list. They give you the first letter usually. Yeah. I go all over the place with that, but usually find all of one letter. Yeah little different that way because yeah with a word list it's like oh, okay I'll just do this in order the words are there you don't really have to kind of think about the puzzles theme and then yeah just go looking in the diagram it's gotta you yeah, look at the list and then find it on the diagram yeah <laughs> word search woo <laughs> Uh, fill-ins, yeah, I go all over the place. Yeah, I find the largest words first, generally. And then the smaller words are easier. Yeah, fill-in is basically a crossword with the answers already. Yeah. Yeah, you have all the answers already, and the words are... Um, organized into how many letters there in the list and then you just fill in the diagram either horizontally or vertically with each word and yeah it's the whole diagrams filled out and you've solved the puzzle so Yeah, there's specific spots for each word. Yeah, so you find out if uh, you've put a word in the wrong spot pretty quick when uh, if another answer kind of crosses and it, you don't get the same letter kind of thing, combinations, or they don't work. So it, Kind of have to. I do that stuff in pencil. Ooh, that was cat hair. Wow. Okay. So I had cat hair on me at one point. Okay. Whoa. That was a quick half hour. Okay. So you've been watching Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. Down below in the description, I put the main uh, website links for Conquer and Pacer. They're just fitness instead of kind of apps or websites in this case. Uh, I'm not affiliated or partnered with Conquer or Pacer. I, it's just something I do daily just to stay active. Yeah. Either just generally walking or using the indoor uh, bike to 
accumulate distances of up to like 3,000 something kilometers over a period of a couple of months or whatever, however long it takes to complete the challenge. Distances vary, but I do the long challenges. So I'm not constantly having to buy a metal or buy a startup code to get the metal after you finish the challenge every couple of weeks or whatever. It would take me a couple of days to finish like a few of them. Or like a session, because I go like 20, 25 kilometers sometimes on the elliptical. That's like a couple hours of being on the elliptical, listening to music or reading a book, doing word search. I'm really into word search again lately, so. Yep, yeah, that's right. Me bumping the drafting table. Any updates regarding uh, Echoes of Color here on YouTube will just be on YouTube. <sighs> so I did a section completion update recently for a previous section, the books and the chain of the pocket watch. Yeah. So yeah, I'll do a section completion once this section's figured out. And we'll head up to the ninth row and go from there. So. I post a uh, start photo with the it all kitted up, finished photo after all the sections have been filled in, and while I'm doing the canvas, uh, whip, whip, work in progress, yeah, I do section completion updates, so, yep, feel free to hit the bell, subscribe, oh, excuse me, and uh, you'll get those updates every now and then, I don't update all the time. Anyway, take care, all the best, and I will see you soon. Bye.